Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Huang. Today I want to introduce the new lithium ion battery that we are developing. That is the advanced silicon based uh, lithium ion battery with a uh, carbon composite anode. Uh, its advantage is that it will have 10 times the capacity of current conventional batteries for the same size. As we know recently, there has been the incredible development of mobile digital device, electrical car, and renewable energy. These industries are in great demand for batteries, resulting that the market size has continued to expand. According to the statistic, Euro lithium ion battery market size in 90, uh, uh, 19, uh, 2019 is around 8 billion US dollar, and the number will be doubled in five years. In other words, what we are doing is going to be a billion dollar market. Now you must be wonder how we increase the capacity to that high. To expand it, I would like to introduce the basic working principle of battery. And that is the insert, insertion reaction. Let's look at this picture. When we are charging a commercial battery, the electron enter the anode and cause the lithium ion from cathode to make up with them. Once at the anode, the lithium atom natural insides between the graphite carbon layers when the battery is discharging, the process reverses. In light of this, the key point to increase the capacity of battery is to figure out how to nestle more lithium ions into anode during a cycle. And the answer is the use of uh, silicon-based anode materials. During the charging, silicon can form an uh, alloy compared to the carbon lithium alloy. The silicon is much more capable of uh, embedding the lithium ions. However, there are still some challenge uh, of using the silicon as an anode material. The first question is that the silicon has serious uh, volume expansion effect. The second one is the silicon anode has poor conductivity. Nowadays, the silicon-based anode materials has been studied by many researchers. To overcome this problem, our scheme is to use the silicon carbon nano composite instead of single element silicon. Uh, graphene carbon nanotube have remarkable uh, mechanical stiffness and conductivities. They make a composite out of silicon may be a potential solution to reduce the silicon anode uh, volume effect, meanwhile increase its conductivity. This method will put our cost a little higher than the conventional uh, batteries, but within an acceptable range. In this study, the main materials to be used are high purity silicon powder and graphene, also the carbon nanotube. Uh, bone milling instrument will be used to produce the composite anode materials. The proportion and composite mass of silicon powder and carbon nanotube material will be invest investigated as uh, variables. Meanwhile, some material characterization such as XRD, SEM, and the battery test result will be used as the base to find out the best solution. The, expe uh, the experimental purpose is to promote the commercialization of these second generation batteries. For our initial plan, it will take around one year for research and development cycle, and we will work with UNSW Chemical Material Laboratory and he has the best equipment and the most professional staff. If you are interested in joining us, please contact me. Thank you.